Okay, so the regular type tool is generally used by just simply clicking and then typing whatever it is that you need to type. So let's say here, November 2nd, 2016. And clearly this type needs some tracking. It's tracking at negative 107 because it's picking up the setting that I used on the register today type from the last tutorial. So I'll just put that at zero. So that's the regular type tool. When you're typing with that tool, it's going to continue to type the tool in a line unless you hit the return key. Another way that you can use the type tool is you can create an area. This isn't exactly the area type tool, but it's the concept that the area type tool also contains. And this is where you actually create an area with the type tool. And I'll make the type that will go in this box somewhat smaller. And you can see here I have a thing called area type options because I just made a box. So that becomes area type and inside of this area type options dialog, I can change the size of the box. I can also split the type into rows and columns and create offset spacing such as indents and insets. And I can just simply, I'm just going to just type some basic text in here. Let's see if I can get back to the text tool here, click in it, click in my box. And flailing here. Type tool. All right, so now that this is an area, when I try to just click in it, it's not really exactly sure what to do. There it goes. It's now typing in the box. Should be typing in the box. Should be typing in the box. And it should. No, it is not typing in the box. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the area type tool now that I've made the area. And now I'm going to click in it. You can see it has a little circle. And that means you must click on a non-compound or masking path to create the type inside of it. So I have to click on the edge. And now if I type you can see that the advantage of that, the benefit of that feature <clears throat> is that it stays within the box. Okay. Okay. Now the same idea can be applied to making a shape with the pen tool. I'm using the pen tool just to make a very simple quadrilateral here. And then switching to type on a path tool and clicking in here and for some reason it wants to align to the right side of my box and that's because that's the point where I started typing I mean started drawing and so it will fit inside of this field and that's the top right, so that's another way that you can control where the type flows so that you don't have to feel so angsty about like how to make the type fit in a specific area you can create an area and type inside of it. All right, that is a good start here. So I'm going to stop record on that one. So I think those are some really helpful ways of thinking about putting together the pieces for your poster.